Next video, I'm not going to do a whole big blurb. Let's just get into it. See ya. Spare change and a watch. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Okay. Cool. I guess. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Okay. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Okay, what if... Oh, what if the guy is in limbo? And his wife, or his girlfriend, or whoever Serena is to him, uh, killed him with pills. Like poison. And this is him in limbo kind of just processing it. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Because it could be kind of a... In agreement with the cooking stove thingy. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Um, but there's three. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. So why are there three keys here? If there's one for the car and one for the cabin, and the outhouse one is by the outhouse, then what's the third key for? We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go, but... Prowler? Wait. Hospital... In well, there's a newspaper clipping about an insane asylum. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, I should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. It's French, because it sounds French, and he said it in a French accent, and evidence sounds like the word evidence, so... Oh, uh... I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Common? Common evidence? It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? Okay, this is bugging me. I'm going to check what the the translation is, because I think it may be a little bit relevant. It was U N E. Alright, is that it? We were happy for a long time, at least I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. Uh, Google Translate says it goes to as evidence, or is evidence, or evident. I don't know, Google Translate's weird, but... My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there is something I have to do. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good. And bad. Depends on how you look at it. Either a wonderful sensory stimulant, an aphrodisiac, or a subtle weapon in the mating rituals of Homo sapiens. Now you're calling perfume a weapon. We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good and bad. Okay. 
Okay, so it's repeating dialogue now. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so we saw the porn mag. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. Well, eh. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Yeah, I remember when I got a new clock and it was a one like that. Ticking kept me up all night. I couldn't adjust to it for the longest time. It sucked. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. That's what clocks like that do. That's they need regular maintenance. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync. Again. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. As if it mattered. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. So is that the crack? The sunlight can be confusing, oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw sometime. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? I meant to, to click the move button. Or the move hand. I don't know. Oh no. Did my game freeze? Oh, just for a moment. Okay. What a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Okay. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Bullshit. No one's that perfect. And why won't you open this closet thing? I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. She's in there, isn't she? Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Bullshit. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Okay. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. And, okay. I'm going to hold back on that dirty comment that I was about to make. <laughs> no, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Long walks in the woods alone. In the middle of the woods, where there was at one time a prowler who left a mark inside your outhouse. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. 
So why did she bring some in? Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin, like my books. A plant is a plant, beautiful to some, boring to others. Well, there's a book right next to the plant. There's a book right next to the plant. Why don't we go and look at that book? I'm starting to, this, I, I'm starting to dislike this guy just a little bit. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Where? Okay. Um, what is that? No trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. Okay. Um, what if I have to look at this thing again? We hated guns. We found this trunk at a big enough for a lot. We hated gu We found this trunk at a flea oh, market. Okay. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Oh, okay. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different she, world back then. She doesn't look happy. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so the guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Activity. The corner feels cold and lifeless. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she puttered around. I can't remember the last time. Feeling peckish, dear? Stove looks like something from World War One. When did we let this window get so gunked up? There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside. Rambles. Why? I might just as well stay here. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel really tense right now. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Okay, you sound tired. I'm probably missing some dialogue, but hey, use it as an excuse to play it, play it yourself. Um, another episode done. Awesome. See you guys in the next one.